what is poppin everybody today i've got a new video for you i'm gonna be talking about five things that i have implemented in my life that i think and i have some scientific evidence to back this up will slow down aging so let's get into it i'm 24 i don't know if it's good or not but if you guys did not know that aging and the whole collagen production stops basically when you're 20 not stops it doesn't completely stop but it slows down as you turn 20 and it significantly decreases as you pass 30 and 40 and all the other years accordingly so i decided a long time ago not just today but long time ago that I, if I want to look young, and there's there's nothing wrong with aging, okay? There's nothing wrong, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this. But I personally would like to look young for as long as I possibly can. So I will talk about five things, five small habits. They're not big, they're small steps that you can start doing today, tomorrow, as soon as you can, to slow down your aging. Everything that I'm going to say in this video is my research, not just for this video. These are things that I used to do and I'm still doing or some new things that I will talk about as well but those are small steps that you can incorporate into your life that are not difficult to do whatsoever sort of so let's talk about the first one the first thing I want to talk about and I found out about it probably a couple months ago and I decided okay there's some action that I need to take to not let it <laughs> ruin my skin and stuff and this is oxidative stress Oxidative stress is actually does not necessarily have to do with it. It's not just the aging that it is bad for. Oxidative stress is linked to even cancer. There is a lot of research that's showing that free radicals in our bodies can link to cancer. And overall, the less free radicals you have in your body, the better for you. And again, this is not only just aging, but aging is one of the factors as well. So oxidants and the way we oxidize our body, we can do it pretty much with anything. A lot of the things we do in our daily lives, like drinking soda, nicotine, um, too much caffeine and like caffeinated products and just just generally not the healthiest lifestyle contribute to this. So you can start implementing something really small into your daily life to help with this. First of all, I stopped drinking soda as my, I am a huge Dr. Pepper girl, okay? I'm always, I gotta have my Diet Coke or Diet Dr. Pepper with me. I s decided to switch to other sodas. Let me show you real quick what I'm drinking. So I drink those, they're called Poppies. And honestly, there's so many brands out there, not necessarily just Poppy, but there's like a lot of brands out there that offer a soda alternative. Let me just l read you the list of ingredients because I was really surprised. It's sparkling water, organic cane sugar. I personally find organic cane sugar much better and healthier for you than calorie free zero sugar um, apple juice fruit juice organic apple cider vinegar organic agave inulin natural flavors there is a little bit of stevia uh, that sucks but natural caffeine this thing is 25 calories per can I can tolerate that sign me up I don't mind this at all but basically I switched from consuming as much soda to drinking more of a healthier soda alternative so that's one thing that I did and also another thing that follows the same point is I started eating fruit I hate fruit okay I freaking hate fruit I probably last time I ate fruit well now, now I'm better okay now I'm better since I've started implementing this so because I was about to say last time I ate fruit and it was today but like last year literally I probably had like freaking two apples uh, throughout the whole 23 i think that was about it i hate fruit so much but one of the things that i did because berries especially berries fruit like organic fruits and organic vegetables and especially berries are full of antioxidants which helps with oxidative stress and the more antioxidants you have you have in your body the more it helps with oxidative stress and this in turn improves your whole aging process and slows it down because you don't have as many free radicals in your in your body as you would without those antioxidants so since i hate fruit i started forcing myself to eat some but another thing that i did which is also tasty i, I don't like the taste of fruit so uh, i started drinking smoothies and i'll show you the ones that i got from walmart and those are really easy and really cool uh, they have like several types of those not necessarily with those berries and those specific fruits that i'm talking about uh, that, that you saw in the picture but a lot of other ones i just chose the fruit and berries that i own myself will never probably consume and i decided to go with a smoothie pack that has them so because i cannot imagine myself going to a store and getting freaking kale or freaking blueberries because i would just be like this is disgusting i'm not gonna eat it so if it's like within a smoothie 
um, and I top it off with some kefir, which is actually good for your gut and stuff. And this, first of all, it tastes so much better than just plain fruit to me personally, because I hate fruit and berries. It tastes really good and it helps with antioxidants, especially acai berries. I was like, okay, if, it, if it's got acai berries, I'm taking it, because acai berries are one of the coolest things in terms of antioxidants. So definitely look into your antioxidant consumption. Second thing, and it's gonna be painful to say this, but resistance training. I am a huge cardio girl. I like running, all that kind of jazz. I'm not too into resistance training, but oh, I've always tried to avoid it my whole entire life. I do not like resistance training, please, anything but this. But resistance training actually can help slow down aging. It has so many more benefits than just this, but resistance training slows down, it slows down aging. So one of the things you can start doing is implementing just a few exercise, hopefully on a daily basis, but if you can't, it can be several times a week, or you can even start, okay, let's, let's talk Kaizen for a little bit. Let's talk about even once a week, okay? Just for starters, because I started with literally when I was working on my whole like exercise routine and writing down everything that I'm gonna be working on and like what I'm going to dedicate each day for um, in terms of exercising, I slowly started imp implementing resistance exercises. Some days it would just be 10, some days it would be 15, but I slowly worked my way to having some sort of resistance training every single day. And honestly, that made me feel better and it hasn't been too long since I've started, but, but again, it hasn't been too long, but I'm already feeling better. And I actually, one of the funny things that I, that just came to my mind, I started going to bed earlier and I sleep better. Uh, I'm not sure whether this specific factor is exactly what triggered my sleeping better, but I think it is since, because again, since I started exercising, doing resistance training on a regular, I have such a better time falling asleep because I'm, I can spend like an hour trying to fall asleep sometimes. So it definitely helped with that. And of course, sleep is another good thing for aging, but resistant training, write it down in your notes, resistant training. Next thing, and I've been doing this for forever, but hear me out, not using or limiting usage of your face, especially when we get a little emotional. I'm 24, I do not currently have a single wrinkle on my face, but here's the thing, and I've noticed this a lot, and I'm noticing this a lot actually among some of the people I see who are years younger than me, they already have lines on their forehead, they already have lines here at their eyes. And one of the things that I have been doing this whole time, and I also did a little bit of research on this specific point just for this video, so I can just testify, stop overusing or excessively using your face muscles. When all the time, when you're doing this all the time, it's not good for your wrinkles, okay? If you're doing this all the time, it's not good for your wrinkles either. Stop using your face excessively. There is no need for you to constantly be using 300,000 muscles that you, you that you got on your face, okay? There are facial exercises to tone up the face muscles that you can do that sometimes require some sort of a, I don't know, a little squeak on your forehead or whatever, that's fine. But on a daily basis, w start watching what you do with your face. Stop doing this all the time, doing this all the time. Because I've seen people younger than me with wrinkles right here with wrinkles right there now i'm so into it and i'm so used to it that i don't even it's it's all, almost like my default setting is to not use my forehead almost my default setting because almost every single time that i'm even trying to there's like this little trigger that goes in my brain and i don't so start slowly just start watching your face first of all because that's kind of a big change to just all of a sudden stop using all your face muscles and stuff Start by just noticing how many times a day you do this because this will show a clear picture of whether you have problems with this or you don't. Because I definitely know people who have problems with this. Every single thing that happens, they're like, <gasps> they're using all their muscles, face muscles possible, ones that I don't even know existed. So stop overusing your face thing number four is uv rays this is so oh my gosh i think this has been talked about for so long but we're still kind of neglecting this start using some sunscreen let me show you the sunscreen that i'm using that's super convenient and i absolutely recommend this sort of thing to everybody so i have this thing which is called a sunstick from atom this is a south korean company i believe you know what if it's a skincare and it's made in south korea sign me up because th these guys never get it wrong they never get it wrong i swear so it's called dermal stick it's basically what it sounds like it's a stick 
that is sunscreen and it's SPF 50 plus. So this is so convenient because it's little, I can put it in my purse, I can put it anywhere, I can put it in my pocket if I need to or if I want to. And I use it on my hands, just don't forget that your hands age as well. And I use it on my neck and I use it on my face. You are supposed to be reapplying it every two hours, which is honestly pretty demanding for me because I'm like, I don't, I don't want to bother, be bothered with this thing all the time. But you know what? Start from small steps. Just get yourself one or get yourself some sort of sunscreen that's 50 plus, no matter if it's winter, summer, or whatever, and start putting it on your face at least once a day. It doesn't take much time. It just, it literally takes 20 seconds to apply it on your face. So don't look at it as a super demanding test although you do need to reapply it throughout the day but i would say this put it in the morning when you're like going somewhere out somewhere and maybe like if you are in more of a closed setting like you're in a classroom or if you are um in an office and like you don't have an, like necessarily like a straight up like sun to face exposure you will be fine especially for starters to just start implementing this as a habit into your life but later on maybe increase the usage of it because i just carried it in my purse in my backpack and so every time that i before i go anywhere outside i put it on so also another thing that I'm gonna add really shortly, if this does not sound like a good thing to you or it's inconvenient to use for some reason, get yourself a face foundation that also has SPF. The ones that I am using are from IT Cosmetics and I will insert the picture. Those are so good. They're CC creams, but honestly their coverage is so good that i wouldn't call them cc creams although i don't know two each, two each is on but um they have an spf of 50 plus so not only that you're doing your makeup just putting your foundation that, that you would have done anyways for example now you have some sort of a protection layer to it so that's awesome it's i call it a win so that's the one in my book okay last thing that i do want to mention as well is getting yourself out there when it's cold and although i freaking hate the fact that i live in a cold state sometimes it really is very inconvenient but basically being a cold has so many uh benefits for your health one of the things that i do know there's actually a lot of research that has been done on that is potentially it increases a lifespan like you can increase lifespan so like not only it goes for aging but also um it goes for like your, your overall body health in general so what i did in order to not okay we're not going into um anything radical okay we're not going into anything like taking ice baths every day for two hours all right because this is too much i don't think i will ever get to the point of my life that i'll be doing this uh, uh, at least for free so but um anyways getting yourself out there expose yourself to a little bit of cold weather and it's it's so easy to do uh, literally so easy to do like for example when i go to gym and i exercise i like to spend like five minutes outside after i exercise just so i can like feel the cold and everything uh this boost circulation boosts production of collagen uh, unclogs your pores and tightens your pores so i see no reason and no really really nothing difficult about just getting out there for five minutes and being out, out in the cold it can be something small like for example when i have to pick up my mail i do not like put a jacket on for example or i put the lightest jacket that i have just for that um five minutes that i'm going to check my bell box and stuff like that so those five are super simple there's a little bit more uh that i'm doing on a daily basis but those are like the simpler ones and the ones that you don't necessarily have to put too much effort into but it still goes a long way so those are my five things that i've implemented in my life and that i'm using consistently and doing consistently every day including resistance training i'm trying to sometimes not every single day but i i'm working on it but let me know if you guys have any other ideas or any other advice and yeah i hope you like this video if you don't give it a thumbs down if you do give it a thumbs up and i will see you in my next one Bye-bye.